Hi there, long time no see. So this is a quick video for FSL users who are interested in skipping FSL's registration. So this came up for me because I'm working with some people who would like to use ANTS, um, either directly through using ANTS or through using um, the new tool uh, FMRI prep, um, but I believe Chris Gorlewski developed it. Anyway, they want to use those image registration um, algorithms as opposed to uh, FSL's FLIRT and FNIRT combination. So if you've ever tried to do this uh, in FSL, skipping FSL's registration, you typically run into problems. So uh, often you, your first try might be to just simply turn off the registration in the GUI when you're running your first level analysis. And this will run the first level analysis, but the problem that will occur is when the higher level analysis goes to run, it will stop. And that's because FSL originally, I mean, no matter what you do, FSL runs the first level analysis all in um, scanner space, in that subject scanner space for that run. And um, it isn't until the higher level analyses that the registration is applied to the data and it's applied to the COPE files and the bar COPE files before running the higher level analysis. So if you have this turned off, the registration turned off, when it goes to apply the registration um, .mat files, it won't find them and then it will crash. So how did I figure out how to do this? Well, I did get some help from some other people, but um, the way to figure out what FSL is doing is to look at the log. So I looked at the log of a second level feed analysis um, and I just, I simply searched the log for the term cope or flirt and I found the flirt command that was used. So I'm not 100% sure why uh, the output file name is so weird, but this is just your typical flirt. Uh, so flirt, this is the reference image that it's using. So this is the space that it's moving it to. This is the image that's moving. So this is my COPE file for my level one analysis. This is the output. So this must just be a temporary name because um, all the COPEs, once they're put in standard space, are then uh, concatenated to make a 4D file, the filtered funk data in the second level analysis. And then this is the rest of the, the FLIRT call, the apply, FX, apply XFM, uh, which is saying uh, just apply this registration mat file and this is it. So this is the registration mat file. It's going to use example func to standard dot mat and the type of interpolation and to make it floating point. So the things to focus on in this call are this part, the reference image and this dot mat file. So these are the only two things that we need to fix in order for um, Basically, we, we're going to run our level one analysis sort of as usual, and then we're going to overwrite these two files that are in the reg directory. We're going to change the standard so that it is what we want it to be. It may or may not be the MNI template. If you're using uh, fMRI prep, it will not exactly, it won't be the MNI template actually, um, because it retains the same voxel dimensions as the original data but it moves the data into standard space. Anyhow, so we need to make this nifty file, the correct nifty file, and we need to replace this .mat file with an identity matrix, which um, will not move the image at all. So this, making this identity will prevent the image from moving, and fixing this image will prevent it from being interpolated again, because there are two, two goals here. We want to prevent interpolation from happening, and we want to prevent the image from moving. So here's what you need to do. First, you're going to be losing that, those extra QA uh, images from your level one feed analysis. Um, if you've ever run a level one FSL analysis, I think you know what I'm talking about. There are the images that help you assess the quality of your image registration. So you'll never have those, um, or you won't have useful versions of those any longer. So make sure you do this QA prior to running your level one analyses. And then you run your first level feet almost as usual, but um, to speed things up, to simplify your registration, we're going to overwrite everything anyway. So you can still have it go to standard space, but change it to a six degree of freedom image registration because that will be a little bit quicker. So run that and then run your QA. 
um, your regular QA. I don't want to skip saying this. So again, ignore the registration because you already checked this. Um, check that your design matrices all look good. Um, you know, there are as many stimuli as you thought there should be. Look at your collinearity. Hopefully um, you don't have any. Um, and just all the usual things that you do to QA a level one feet analysis. And I have a whole other video on that that you can check out in the um, FSL pipeline tutorial. So once you're sure that's good, um, double check that your feet directory doesn't already include a reg underscore standard directory. This isn't created uh, when you run the level one analysis. It's created when you run higher level analyses. So just in case you may have already tried to run a level two analysis, um, make sure this directory does not exist. If it exists, um, no changes you make that will be ignored because the files that your higher level is going to grab are in this reg standard directory. So uh, again, that will only occur if you've run feet reg apply or if a higher level analysis has been run already. If it does exist at this point, delete the reg standard. Um, yeah. Then go into the reg directory, which you will have um, in your feed directory, and first delete your all the .mat files. You can just do a, a rm a star .mat to get rid of those, and then you're going to put the identity matrix in its place. So for that, you can use this copy command. Um, this will work on any machine that has FSL installed. This exact command. So copy, dollar sign, FSL, dir, et cetera, Florida CH, ident.mat, to the reg slash example functus standard. Obviously, you might have to complete this path that gets you to the reg directory. Um, this command, as written, uh, would work if you were in the feed directory when you ran it. But obviously, if you weren't, you would have to expand this path to get you there. So again, this ensures the data won't be moved at all because we've replaced the image registration, the map file with the identity, but we still have to be sure that our data do not get interpolated again. So that just simply means that after the movement, which in this case is no movement, the voxels need to line up exactly. And to check that, or to fix that, you just move the mean func, because the mean func, this is just the average of the data you fed in, you don't have to worry what these data look like. All you care about with the mean func is that the voxels are set up properly. So you have the right dimensions of each individual voxel and the right number of voxels in each of the X, Y, and Z dimension. So you can, oops, 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 uh, this should be a copy. Don't move, copy. My apologies. So CP, don't move, the mean func uh, .nii.gz into the reg standard .ini.gz. Um, but you can overwrite uh, the standard image. That's the goal. So definitely overwrite the standard, but don't, don't lose the main func in that original file. And this should prevent any interpolation, but you're going to double check that anyway. Run your higher level analyses as you normally would and triple check that your images are correct. So your voxel intensities between the cope that lives in the stat directory, stat, and this is uh, within your level one feet, You'll have your stats directory as usual. And then after you run the higher level in the level one feet directory, there's a reg underscore standard directory stats and cope. These two copes should be exactly the same, not with round off error, but exactly the same. So you want to make sure no extra smoothing was applied to your data. So again, these two directories, these stats directory and the reg underscore standard stats directory, these are both in your level one analyses. It's just this reg standard directory won't exist until you've run your higher level analyses. And also check using uh, FSL info or um, you know, other information or the, what I, um, uh, FSL HD uh, that your data dimension and pixel size are the same as the mean func. That's it. So special thanks to um, the Schoenberg lab uh, in Tel Aviv who brought this up, especially Rotom, who helped troubleshoot this, and also David B. Smith, plus the NeuroStars um, help page, by the way, which is neurostars.org if you have analysis questions. That is a great resource. So, and David um, gave a 
response to the question asked by Rotom. Anyway, thank you. And as per usual, please join the Facebook group or follow on Tumblr. On Tumblr, by the way, if you didn't already find it, I will have a uh, PDF that has the, the steps and I will correct that move to a copy in the PDF so, so you can have that on hand. Or follow on Twitter or all three. And that is it. And have a really good day.